3D Prime Prejudice. I am now. I'm currently up to 46. Not read a lot. Just a few chapters. Chapter 11. Um, I'm not gonna lie. There was a full page of dialogue that I just didn't understand what they were talking about. I just. It's hard sometimes. I can barely understand what people are talking about and what words mean. Dear to dear. Let alone what they meant back in 1818 or whenever it was made so it is there are some times when i'm just like just get through it because like and like i've i've watched the adaption so many times that i the scenes that i have do know i like understand how things and what they're saying and like this part's funny this part isn't kind of thing um so that does help but the ones where like they just haven't been adapted i just Nah, it goes straight over my head sometimes. But I am liking it. It's very wholesome content. My mother and I are going to go op shopping again. There's only really one thing you can do in Melbourne that's op shop. So yeah, we're gonna go out. I'll try I'll look for more books again. And then come back. Read, I guess, maybe craft. That's the plan. See you later. It was near my charter, it's not charged. I need to buy one. Anyway, I also bought this. It's like I'm planning on doing I'm reading like some of the Sherlock Holmes books, see if I like them. I'm not sure if this is like a kid's version or not, but this one, which I showed trying on, which I also showed, very Edwardian. Not Edwardian. Victorian? I don't know. I got this weird little thing. I don't know if I like it or not, but it's like a little shawl thing. Rather cute. I got this black one that I also showed. Just like a little one. Ties in the front. Just some jeans. Fit really well. I got another book. Holes by Louis Satcher. Um, I watched the movie when I was younger. And it's like a fantastic movie with Shia LaBeouf. Um, it's like a Disney movie. And I loved it and I saw it and I'm like, I love the movie, why not buy the book? These little earrings, they're just kind of cute. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. And then just like this little choker beaded thing. 
necklace. I've also got this ring, not sure if you can see it very well, but yeah. Um, my mum also got me like this ring, the purple one, and then that silver one from, like she bought them from shops a while ago, and she gave them to me when I got back. But yeah, so that's my haul. Today is Saturday, day two of my second Melbourne vlog. Um, I'm going out with my dad to Sabres, I'm going off shopping again. Um, you might think I'm going quite a lot, and I will be going quite a lot, and it will get very repetitive, it'll just be me going to op shops and reading. But I very rarely buy myself stuff, and when I do it's from op shops. Like I go op shopping regularly, but I only ever buy books from op shops when I go out and very rarely find any clothes. So I don't spend a lot of money on things for myself. I'm very much a saver. So that's why it may seem a bit excessive, all the op shopping, but I li literally just come to Melbourne just to see my family and to op shop. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. So yeah, let's go. shopping again we went to a few there is gonna be banging but you probably saw that I have like heaps of stuff um I think I only got like five things in the end it's very easy just to pick up things and then it not fit or it just not look good I'll show you what I got another little haul again haul sounds like I'm saying haul those words sound the exact same with my voice so got this it's got like a little flared sleeve it's just like you just wear it like a light jacket i guess you can wear a shirt but i'm not gonna i got this it's very cute it's got like a really cute little neckline i love this neckline you probably can't see anyway i got that one again i got just a little thing that i'm just gonna use as like a little just to wear over a shirt. I'm just gonna get rid of this because I don't know what I'm gonna do with that. And my favorite thing that I've gotten so far is this little like corset. It doesn't look like anything special, but the fact that I found a corset is amazes me, but it fits perfectly and it's great. And then I got one book, which you guys saw, and it was The Kiss Caution, which came out in like 2019. I'm doing pretty, oh, 2018 pretty well with recent books recently i got a um copy of what is that book the kylo ren and ray what is it you know what i'm talking about the wattpad story thing fan fiction of kylo ren and ray from star wars love hypothesis that one anyway i found that and that came out not even last year or something so i've been pretty lucky i mean these are the kind of books that people just buy read and then just get rid of because 
either they're super hyped and they just don't like it in the end or they just read and they're like cool liked it i don't need to keep it kind of thing but yeah very successful trip um i'll probably pop back to that savers again the real it's just really good it's in ringwood um in melbourne it's like the best savers i'm thinking about maybe doing some more crocheting tonight and I need to finish the handle for that bag, otherwise it's just never going to get finished. And I need to start all the other things I need to do. Anyway, but yeah, so we'll see where the night takes us, if it takes us anywhere. Good morning. I haven't, I'm not doing much today. Um, I think I'll just be reading i have a like a zoom meeting i have to do i've just been doing like work prep so it's been a bit of a boring day so far but the day is young um i'm hoping so i finished my bag i decided to do the just add squares for the handle um and i've just i've got heaps like my mum was gonna make a blanket with these but she just couldn't be bothered so i'm just using them so I have heaps left over and I kind of want to make a cardigan with it or maybe like a vest. It could turn out really bad, but we'll see. I did start up with the book eaters again, so we'll see how that goes. I haven't read much, just like a chapter or two. Yeah, that's the update today. See what happens. <laughs> Today we are going to Savers, but this time we're going alone. So everyone's at work. So it's just gonna be you and me. I've been doing a lot of work, so I haven't really made much progress on reading, but the work I've had to do is over now. So I have 10 days of just doing whatever I want, which is good. So hopefully I'll be able to finish the book eaters within the next few days and then i started cardigan to yesterday i don't know how it's gonna work out but i'll hopefully finish that today when i come back so off we pop i found that sip is rather disappointing i literally didn't pick up anything to even try on so it's been like 20 minutes in there um, I think I'm just gonna try to fall. Alright, let's go. Alright, well that was a very disappointing trip. Um, I went to two. I went to the same one in Ringwood and then I went to, I think one in like Hepburn or something like that. The only thing I got were these earrings. That's all I got. Disappointing. Got little poochies. Um, I'll probably just read and do some crafting and watch TV and stuff. So yeah, disappointing, but so a cute boy. So was it a real waste? <laughs> my cardigan this is it it's a bit patchy in different colors because i had very little purple this is what it looks like on now it's a bit not much at the front and more at the back 
to be fair this is my very first cardigan so i'm pretty impressed with myself i might go do another like double stitch across so there's a bit more to it but yeah so this is going to be the end of this vlog thank you for watching we did a bit of we did a lot of op shopping a lot of crocheting and not much reading but thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next one